Hi everybody, I'm here to do a video with you uh, because we had a customer or a friend or somebody from uh, my battalion actually put a video up recently about the durability of the PAC 432. Uh, in his video what he actually did is he took a bunch of his models, put them in the phone, uh, put them in the 432 obviously, and then like chucked them across the street to show the durability of it. Well, we thought that was awesome, but what happened I guess in the middle of the video, uh, before he went to pick it up out of the street, his camcorder went dead, so there's like literally a, a cut in the video. So some of the people have said, oh my god, that must be faked out and they swapped out the bag. So before you guys get nuts, I'm going to do the same test to show you guys the true durability of this bag. I think it's going to help you get an idea of what battle comes all about. Now before I do that, I'm going to put on my pirate hat, and there's a reason for that. It's an internal thing here at the shop, so bear with me. But anyway, so we have a normal 432 here and some models. And I'll show you what I picked. I just picked some standard stuff we have in our showroom to kind of give you an idea. What I did, I took, is I took a metal model. You guys know this is an assassin. It's got a big pointy weapon in it. Uh, I took some Space Marines. Uh, these are your normal Chaos Marines, so they have some, you know, kind of a little bit of jump packs on them uh, or uh, backpacks on them. I took the, uh, the Scouts, normal Scouts, nothing unique there. And then I took just a metal model that has, uh, you know, a large thing in his hand that could technically break if it was improperly transported. And I just basically stuck them in there. Now, obviously, that's probably not the best fit for him. But what I want to show you guys is that even if a model is not perfectly in a piece of foam, the cool thing is that we have the ability to custom cut it to make it even more protective. But even like this, I want to show you how really good and durable these bags are. Uh, now, in the uh, vehicle section of it, I took some uh, Rhinos, which are obviously pretty popular models, uh, and what I did is I double stacked them, and I double stacked them for a very important reason. If you look, uh, when you put the Rhino in and you put your spacer in that comes with the tray, and when you put the second Rhino on top, it sticks out a little bit. You guys can see there, it's about, eh, about a half an inch out. Um, and we have a Land Raider and a Drop Pot. So, these are pretty popular models. They're most everybody that plays Space Marines or some form of, of Marine armies have something like this. The thing about it that's cool is that you have an item that's protruding out, which technically would seem unsafe. You have a large model that's heavy and bulky that should break. You have a drop pad that's very uniquely shaped. And more than anything else, I even took one of these ironclads that have the removable hands and threw him in here just to show you guys that even with the model bouncing around in our foam, it's so protected that it's not going to cause any sort of problem. So I'm going to throw that guy in there like that, and I am going to put a spacer between it. And this will take care of the protruding model that sticks out right there. I'm going to take a, an empty tray just for filler purposes. Obviously, if you had models, you can fill that up, but for the purpose of throwing this around, you don't really need it. I'm going to take another spacer, which is what comes with the bag. And put that piece of foam right there. Now we're going to slide it in into the bag. And as you can see, there's no cuts in this video. Everything is up to par. Now, the other thing about it is, I'm going to show you guys, this is, this is a bag that is a, a standard 432 with a hard plastic case. I'm about 185 pounds. First thing, you can drop the bag. You don't have to worry about it. It'll hold your weight. So I'm a 145-pound guy sitting on top of this bag, and we don't have to worry about the bag getting crushed. Uh, that's not something you can do with many other bags. Now, for the true test, right? You've got a bag like this. First of all, that's probably how baggage handling does what they do with your products. So I'm going to take this bag and we're going to chuck it. Now, I will get it. So, watch the video. There's no cuts. There's nothing weird going on. Bag still intact. Still the same case. Now, let's see what we got in here. Let's see if we have broken models. Now, other than the bag's dirty, which, hey, I take that any day, all the models and all the foam is in the same place. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. Now, let's pull this thing out and see what we got. First of all, the models are in the same place. Very important, right? Even this guy with his arm sticking out, same place. Put him back in there. The assassin. Same guy. No problems. Space Marines with brittle little backpacks. No problem. Moving on. Empty tray like we said. And look at this. Everything is perfectly intact. Now, let me show you something kind of cool. Obviously the door opened, but that's going to happen because it's not glued down. This is the one I wanted to show you. That guy bouncing around in this phone. We just threw him 30 feet. I sat on him. 
His arms still come off like they did before. They still go on the same. That comes off. Goes right there. Still a perfectly good model. My Land Raider, by the way, my beautifully painted Land Raider by a friend of mine who is awesome at painting, may I add. Brian Shaw, props to you, my friend. Beautiful tank. I still love this thing. But look at this guy. I threw this model. This guy probably spent, I know I spent a ton of money on it for him to paint it for me, but he spent a ton of time painting this. I'm that comfortable with it that I would take my freaking knights and just basically chuck it across the room. So that's perfectly fine. The land, or the rhinos that we were worried about being double stacked and sticking out. Perfectly fine. So you're totally good on all your models. Let me put this guy back in here. Put the spacer on there. Put that right there. How about this guy? The drop pod. Still a drop pod. Let me, all the arms or all the doors still open like normal. It's still a drop pod. Still glued together. And that is why Battle Foam beats out the competition. Because it's durable. I just showed you. No cuts in the action. And this works for our whole line. Our bags that we're building now are even more durable because we know even more about the foam quality, we know even more about consolidating the space, and even more about being a pilot. So if you can do all that and you can still get your models to your safe place, guys, the video speaks for itself. Make your own decision. And we just reduced the price on this. So all i got to say is BattleFoam.com, protecting your army. Thanks.